Hi, welcome to our series of short snippets on hematology for medical undergraduates. This short video will describe how iron is distributed among the various parts of the human body and how homeostasis is achieved through balancing of iron absorption, utilization and loss. The human body contains about 3 to 4 grams of iron. Of this, about one third of it is present in muscle and liver as myoglobin and ferritin. The majority of the remaining two thirds of iron is found in red cells, either in circulation or as developing red cells in the bone marrow or as dying red cells in the spleen undergoing destruction. In a day, about 1% of red cells, which are senescent, meaning red cells which are at the end of their life, are destroyed by the splenic macrophages. About 20 to 25 mg of iron is recycled from this splenic clearance and re-enter the circulation. There is no excretory mechanism for iron, which emphasizes how iron is so vital to the body that it needs to be conserved and hoarded. The only way in which iron loss occurs physiologically is by sloughing of enterocytes that contain iron from the intestinal lining. About 1 to 2 mg of iron is lost daily through this route. In females, an additional average loss of about 1 mg daily or about 20 to 30 mg monthly occurs through menstrual loss. This loss needs to be balanced by absorption of 1 to 2 mg of iron daily in the duodenum. The bioavailability of iron is only about 10% and therefore daily requirements of iron is recommended at about 10, 10 to 20 mg. And for females, a larger intake would be required to replace menstrual blood loss. About 7 mg of iron is remobilized daily from the liver ferritin stores, while 20 to 25 mg of iron is returned from red cell clearance into the pool to subsequently enter the bone marrow for erythropoiesis or liver to be stored as ferritin. The iron in the circulating transferrin bound pool replenishes needs mainly in the bone marrow for erythropoiesis and in the liver for storage. And the bone marrow would replenish red cells that have been lost through senescence on splenic destruction. The key learning points from this video would be that firstly, two-thirds of body ions is sequestered within the red cells as hemoglobin the second fact being that iron is recovered from senescent red cells that are destroyed at the end of their life in the spleen. That also, thirdly, iron has no excretory mechanism and loss occurs through the sloughing of iron containing intestinal cells and edema with regards to menstrual blood loss. The dietary intake of iron needs to balance the iron loss that occurs through sloughing of intestinal cells and through menstrual loss and that storage iron is maintained in ferritin which is mobilized to the circulation when required. Thank you for watching this video.